Oh, there's... Oh, stop. Oh, I wasn't ready. That's big. Oh, I think that's a good one. Oh, boy. That's a good one. That crushed it. Wow. Wow. And I'm hand bombing 40 pound braid. This is not ideal. And here we are. That is a gigantic tail. And this fish is so wrapped up. Oh, this is good fish. This is a disaster. Like, oh no. I'm gonna have to grab his tail, I think. This is big. Oh, it's not even hooked. We are back. I'm sure y'all missed me quite a bit. Don't lie. But after a healthy hiatus, we're finally back in the game. We are out here on a big, beautiful Baker Lake at our favorite spot. You might recognize that background from previous videos from last year. It's late November and it is very clearly, definitely winter time now. Quite windy today, not terribly, terribly cold, fairly mild, but cold enough that I definitely don't want to be fishing outside. So I'm going to get the shack set up. We'll talk a lot more once we're all rigged and ready to roll. Super happy to be back out here with y'all. Sorry for being away for so long. I'll be better, I swear. I'll see you inside the shack. All right, people, we're here, we did it. We're set up in the shack, mostly anyways. I just got a couple more things to touch up. Gotta get the panoptics, live scope, by the way, into the water, and then we're gonna be back in business. Man, it feels good to be back out here. I did forget how freaking long it takes to set up all the equipment, camera gear, everything for ice fishing, but so well worth it. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. I'm sure this camera is looking a little ugly and foggy, but. That is because it just went from being frozen to warming up inside the shack. So as you might remember, and as I've mentioned moments ago, I've got the Panoptics Live Scope now. What I have here is a custom Panoptics pole made by my man Ian Cranston. It's the one I used in the boat if you have watched my previous video where I hand fed that lake trout. If you haven't, check it out. So yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna get into too much explaining. I'm not gonna do anything too wild or creative today. All I wanna do is get back out here, get another video out and give the people what they want. I had so many people beaking me, chirping me, motivating me to get back out. So here we are, it's game time. Okay, so we got the Panoptics cam rolling. Like I mentioned earlier, live scope by the way. It's just a moderate flex. Make it special note to tell you it's live scope. If you've watched any of my previous ice fishing videos, I did use Panoptics before, but that is the old school technology. A lot less detailed, a lot more boring. This live scope is just deadly. The detail you get to see when a fish shows up and of your lure and stuff, it is just nuts. It's like next level. So I hope to show you some pretty cool stuff with that. Okay. Head cam rolling, it was a little frozen, but I think we got that sorted out. Now let's get fishing, shall we? Camera's looking clear, boy. We are in the money. So what I have with me is a whole new array of this year's brand new frostbite rods. There's some new models, some new features, some upgrades to the old ones. These rods this year are just so deadly and I can't wait to put a bend on one of them with a big one electro at the other end. I'm not gonna go too in depth with the rod stuff in this video just because that's probably like a whole video in and of itself, but I'll make a whole separate video fully outlining new features, things, all that good stuff. So don't worry, that's coming. We've got a long winter ahead of us. Lots of stuff coming up, lots of news, plans, changes. But just stick around, you'll find out. So off the bat, what I'm gonna start out with is our boy, Frostbite Dragon Slayer. Little piece of Cisco meat to scent it up a bit. And one of the brand new rods from Frostbite this year, the Deadbolt, 39 inch medium heavy. Just a super, super nice, Lake trail rod for your lighter applications. This is one of my side chicks for the season. I think the Mr. Big and the Slugger are always gonna be my main chicks, but nothing wrong with having a couple side chicks, you know? Just kidding. Don't be an F boy. Okay, let's get this Dragon Slayer down there. I am 
anticipating a fish on the first drop not gonna be long from now I think there might be one right now yes there is two perhaps oh I didn't even check my drag if I do that before I break another rod So with this pan optics, things are gonna show up so much better in shallower water. Like the deeper you get, the harder it is to get like a super clear, detailed picture as you'd expect. So what I'm gonna do is crank the gain up a little. Oh, there's something. Whoa, look at that thing up high chasing. Where's my lure? Oh, there's something down low. Oh, it's going down. Oh, here it comes. I can't see the dragon slayer, but I can see what appears to be a lake trout. So as I've mentioned in so many videos before, it's like, it's crucial, literally crucial to check the whole column. I don't know what percentage of lake trout I've caught in the upper column, but I'm sure it's probably pretty close to half or more. So it's late November here in Baker Lake. Well, I guess it's late November everywhere in the world. That's kind of a stupid thing to say, but we already have like, I'd say over a foot of ice already. Things up here in the north just start getting colder earlier and get really cold really fast so ice forms pretty quick even on this great big huge lake that is Baker Lake okay so not gonna waste any more time as always as I'm always preaching always take advantage of your second line so I brought along with me today a nice big sloppy bag of Cisco's and we're going to use our second line to sink a Cisco down to the bottom catch any big mamas that are maybe cruising by looking for a big old snack what we got here y'all know about this slugger the juice this is probably my favorite lake trout rod ever made 46 inch extra heavy for those extra heavy hook sets that we all love so much and how i'm going to secure that cisco is just on a little Sliding quick strike rate, two trebles, one in the back, one in the front, super simple. That's just gonna sit on the bottom. Uh, one thing to note, give her a little squeeze, get any air out of it so it'll actually sink. Made some pretty gruesome sounds, but hey, that's the way she goes. And get that down. So we'll sink that right down to the bottom. Almost there. There we go. And just gonna let that sit with the bail open. Now we're back in the game. So we got our Cisco chilling. Looks like there might be a fish approaching the dragon. There definitely is a fish approaching the dragon slayer. Dragon slayer is what I caught my biggest ice fishing lake trout ever on last year. It was actually the largest on YouTube until some arsehole snuck in and beat me by an inch. But I ain't mad. But no, I'm coming for that belt boy. Whoa! Look at this fish. We're gonna catch him. He's hungry. There's two. He wants it. Where are you going? Holy That was scary. Wow! That was terrifying! <laughs> I hope you guys heard that like I did. Whew. I think that actually spooked that fish. Ay ay ay. You know what? Whoop, rub that in a little hard. Whoop. Clearly he's not down with the Dragon Slayer at this point in time. So maybe let's try the Tungsten Dinner Bell by Frostbite. I forget what this color is called, it's like a white glow. Differences from this one compared to the old ones, it's made of tungsten, so it's twice as heavy. A little less fluttery, but so much nicer for deep and for deep in, for fishing deeper water. Let's get that down there. No bait for now. Oh, there's something up high for sure. Oh. Yeah, he bumped it. Seems much more interested in the dinner bell right away. Oh, there's one down low. Man, there's a bunch of fish everywhere. This guy's instantly coming up at the dinner bell. 
got him. Take my drag a bit. There we go. We're hooked up with the first lake trout of the season. Feels really small. Whoa! Oh no, I think we're tangled in another rod. That's okay. Get this guy up quick because he is that day. There it is! There it is, y'all. First fish of the 2021-2022 ice fishing season. A dink, but a fish nonetheless. More where that came from, let's go. I think we're gonna change it up and go big, big. We'll do some lure swapping as the day goes on, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Next up, what we have here, boys and girls. This is a, I believe, six inch giant tube made by Send It Outdoors. The boys have made a special line of tubes called the Big Mama Tube. I like to think I had some influence in that name, but jury's still out. But like, look at these things. Look at the detail that has like scale indentations on it. Beautiful paint job. Like, I don't think there's a nicer tube on the market. Honest to gourd. Let's get that down there. See if we can't catch something stupid big. The rod I'm gonna be ripping this on is the slugger. I got a pretty big tube jig head on. I think it's like an ounce and a half. And like I always say, anything over like an ounce, ounce and a half, I go with the slugger. Just got so much more power to move that bait properly. Got to reset. Got to fix this Cisco first though. It's a little banged up, got tangled. Whoa, there's a fish on this. Okay, okay. We'll let that run for a second. Must have just been staring at it, and as soon as I picked it up, he have committed to it. And he's running with it like. It's pulling line. No, I don't want to give him too long so he doesn't swallow the whole bait. It doesn't really feel like it's too big, but yeah. <laughs> that was a dink for sure. Probably just had it like T-boned or just a piece of it. And I think he got off with a free meal. Oh yeah, did he ever. Okay, so we're gonna have to rebate this. I think what we're gonna do now is, maybe just use like a half a Cisco. Just cause I only brought three. I don't know why I brought so few, but. Three and half. I think we'll use the tail portion. You know, no rhyme or reason for that necessarily. Oh, looks like there's a fish. Was it coming up at the tube? It was. Oh no. Okay, Cisco on hold. Man, fish are pretty skittish it seems. I don't know what they want from me. Whoa, this guy's coming in hot. I think this is gonna bite. Yeah. Woo! So with lake trout fishing, as I've mentioned before, you always want to keep the fish chasing. Don't really give them much time to really think about it or assess the situation. Just keep them guessing. They're pretty... Oh, there's one right on it. What the F? They're pretty instinctual fish, I guess you could say. So maybe impulsive would be the better word. I don't know. I'm just trying to use book words here. Sound like I know what I'm talking about. So, no love for the Send It Outdoors tube just yet. So, let's put that away for now. On to the next weapon. What we got going on here. Brand new color from Frostbite on the 100 millimeter tantrum. Just a big, giant size rattle bait. Such a nice wobble, great sound and a perfect lake trout size. Even for big wallers and stuff, this would be a great bait. If any of you guys are rattle bait fishermen, you'll probably know that the selection for huge rattle baits is quite, quite limited. So with these tantrums, just filling a gap in a market that is pretty sparse. Oh, that has just such a nice rattle. You can just feel it in the rod. Another super awesome thing about these rattle baits for fishing any species really, 
is the fact that they're so loud and so aggressive that like, even if the fish doesn't necessarily come in and bite the rattle bait, the obnoxiousness and the water that it displaces will certainly call fish into the area who in turn might come and bite our Cisco or perhaps we could drop another bait on them if they don't bite the rattle bait. Just a super, super wicked bait that literally is crucial in everybody's tackle box. Okay, where'd these fish go though? There's one. Looks like he's going down to the Cisco. If this fish bites the Cisco, it is proof that I know what I'm talking about. Here's the fish coming. Coming from the right, he seems quite interested. Okay, oh, oh, there's a fish on the, uh, whoa! Oh my goodness! Okay, I know what I'm talking about, boys. You heard it here first. I didn't even see that fish. There's also one coming up with the rattle bait. Man, this is a disaster. I gotta reel this up. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, don't panic, stay calm. Just gonna give him another second here. Man, that time I said rattle baits will bring in fish and they'll come and bite the Cisco and then the rattle bait brought in fish and then it came and bit the Cisco, remember that? That was cool. Okay, I'm gonna give this boy the juice because he's ripping. Okay, we got him. I don't know if it feels enormous or not, but it is a fish. Feels better than the last one though, that's for sure. We are fighting it on the slugger, which is quite a bit beefier of a rod than pretty well any other rod on the market. Where's our boy at? There he is, that's not a bad one at all. It's the biggest lake trout of the season so far, I guess you'd say. That's not a bad one. That's worth getting out of bed for. There he is, he's up the hole. Get him unhooked without hooking myself. Ow, he bit me though. There we go. Check this out, boys and girls. Absolutely not a bad lake trout by any means. Man, it feels good to be back. Beautiful. Let's get him back and get some more. Okay, so I think right there is proof in the pudding of exactly what I was talking about with these rattle baits drawing in fish to the area. Because as soon as I put that rattle bait down, that fish came and lunched the Cisco tail. So without further ado, let's get another Cisco piece down there. We'll use the other half of old boy there the head and maybe we'll continue with our one two punch rattle bait cisco chunk combo there's a lot going on in front of this hole it was kind of a disaster to to uh land that fish there should probably reevaluate how i have everything set up let's get that boy back down man i love that color it's like a gold tiger i think I can't remember the name of any lures. You need to have a cheat sheet for these videos. I can't remember. Jeez. Get these little handle condoms off. Why do they even have these on here? Okay, I better stop that. That's looking rather sus. That's something coming up. Of course, as soon as I'm trying to get some coffee, it's always when a fish shows up. Got him. Literally, without failure. It's an actual dink. How did it even fit this rattle bait in his mouth? Yeah, it's a dink. It's probably foul hooked, honestly. No, it got one of the hooks in his mouth. Unbelievable. Omega dink. But a fish is a fish and I ain't mad. See pal. Man, what is it with every single time I try to get some coffee or something? That's when a fish shows up that'll actually bite. Time and time again. 
clearly I don't drink enough coffee or something. Oh, oh, fish, oh my goodness. See, every time, oh no. There's something ripping the Cisco. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my God, it's gonna break the rod. I think it just got off. No, it's still there, it's still there. Is it still there? I think it's still there. Something really weird is going on. Oh man. It is, what is it stuck on? What the f Every time when getting coffee. Was it worth it? No. Will it happen again? Yeah. Who gets snagged ice fishing? Like, are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna have to break this off. I don't see any other alternative. Yeah. Yep, that's what we gotta do. Oh boy. Who gets a snag ice fishing? Are you kidding me? And I don't think I brought any treble hooks to make another quick strike rig, or did it? No, I certainly didn't. Because I certainly wasn't expecting to get a snag ice fishing and lose them. I'm still not really sure how that occurred. So I think what we might have to do is borrow the treble hooks off this tantrum. Because that's the only lure that I brought that has treble hooks. Then use those to make a new quick strike because we need bait down there and it's not even an option. Okay, I'm gonna reel this up. Sacrifice the tap thing, even though I really want to use it, but it's the only thing that'll work in this scenario. Come on. That almost went down the hole. New quick strike rig is ready. Sucks that we have to sacrifice a bait, but. Okay, back to the old big mama, send it outdoors too. Sounds like we have some visitors. So different up here in the north. You know, back home in the south, people would be so upset if people came and fished by them, but up here, it's just like a big old community and everybody helps each other out. And it's so, so, so much different of a mindset. And it's something I'm gonna miss about living up here, which is a little hint, maybe some foreshadowing for things to come in the future. Something maybe cooking up. I can neither confirm nor deny, but you'll have to stay tuned to see. Sounds like they're out there catching. You guys catching? Holy smokes, there's lots of people out now. Hey. Nice. Hey. <laughs> I feel your pain. Nice job. Good job, good job. Thank you. Sweet, so there's fish in the area. People be catching. It's just such an awesome, awesome thing about being up here is that like fishing is so much less of a sport like we do it back home in the south. Like I'll be honest, not a lot of fish get released up here and that's because people take them to feed their families. Price of groceries up in the north are just absolutely incredible and people, you know, use the resources that mother nature gave us and offset those crazy costs of groceries up in the north. Whoa, there's, oh God, oh, I wasn't ready. That's big. Oh, I think that's a good one. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a good one. I crushed it. Wow. I don't even. Wow. Oh boy, yeah, that's a good one. That is a definitely a good one. Okay. Well, I was just giving some sort of heartfelt message there. Put that on pause. Wow, that fish just crushed it. Yes, that feels so good. Oh, it feels so good. I don't know what to do about the second line because I'm sure it's about to get so tangled. The way it bit felt huge and it definitely has some weight, but I don't know how big it is. You know what? It's on the other line. It's on the, it's on the, oh my goodness, okay, it's on the dead stick line. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna have to hand bomb this. That is really weird. Oh no, oh boy. Okay, so this fish clearly picked up the piece of Cisco meat and swam into the tube. <clears throat> and I'm hand bombing 40 pound braid. This is not ideal. Okay, so what, just, what clearly just happened there was this fish picked up the dead, the dead line Oh, that's a big tail. Swam into the tube, or swam the line into the tube. I thought it bit. And here we are, that is a gigantic tail, and this fish is so wrapped up. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, come on, come on. What is going on? Holy, no, it's in the pan off this pool. This is gonna be a challenge to get up the hole. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 no. Oh, ow, that hurts my hands. Ow, ow, ow. This is a disaster. Like, oh no, I'm gonna have to grab his tail, I think. Oh, got it, got it. I think, yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I need to figure this out here. <laughs> Oh, sheesh, sheesh. <laughs> okay, let's get this, this is big. Oh, it's not even hooked, it's just wrapped up. Oh boy, sheesh, oh my God. <laughs> That's a big mama. What is, what just happened? Okay. Okay. Uh, I am just so confused about what just occurred there. Let me give it a dunk. Oh. Oh. My heart's pounding. Okay. Look at this big mama. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna get it on the bump board. I'm curious. It's been a minute since I've seen a nice lake trout, so. <sighs> Shout out to everybody who chirped me for my last bump board. I went out and bought this one. Get a measurement. Will that make 40? Yeah, that's 40 on the dot. Look at that, mouth touching. There it is. 40 inch your first time out of the season. Let's go, baby. Let's get this big boy back. Woo. Oh, and she's fired up still. Sheesh. Okay, so I don't really know what just happened there. Um, I'm thinking that fish had that bait in its mouth. It started swimming with it, swam the line into the rod that I was jigging, 
I hooked the line from the set line, reeled it up to the hole, and then had to hand bomb it in. You know, that's one of the dirtiest fish catches that I've ever had, but I'll take it all day. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, my hands are cold. Okay, so my fingers are a little gored up. Hand bombing 40 pound braid, would not recommend, but I'd probably lose a finger or two if it meant I was gonna catch 40, so that's huge, that's big. What a start to the season. That's definitely, hopefully, a sign of things to come, but I think we'll fish for a little while longer. I don't know, unless something else major happens, I think we're gonna wrap this video up with that. That's, that's unreal. Thank y'all for watching. So much more to come. Big, big things coming this year. Until next time, peace.